The Faculty of Science Sustainability Network is a group of people who are interested in sustainability and running projects and initiatives to forward sustainability in the faculty. And it started last year when I was appointed as Associate Dean Sustainability and went to all the departments and schools and service units and asked anyone who would like to be involved. Everybody within the faculty that has an interest was invited to join. There's a broader network and there's a smaller group within that, a steering group of which I'm a member. The membership's a great cross-section of academic staff professional staff, technical staff, anybody with a good idea within the group that wants to progress it, you develop some momentum that goes from there. The university is a major institution in Auckland and in New Zealand and there's two really important roles we play. One is just sheer operational, you know, we've just got a lot of people and a lot of things happening and it's really important that we do that in as sustainable a way as possible. But the other thing of course is we're a learning institution and if we can forward sustainability it's not just for us as this microcosm but it's for all these people that are going out there and taking that identity with them into the world. There's kind of the environmentally focused approach in terms of nurturing and caring for our own environment. There's a kind of social based approach where we, we look at sustainability issues by nurturing and caring for each other. And then there are the, the kind of practical solutions that will actually make a difference. One of our projects involves a teaching case study and we've got two departments that have come together to do this, psychology and chemistry. And in their primary discipline, they'll all have a couple of lectures on the clothing industry. Now, what's the psychology behind that? Why, despite the fact that we're all good people, do we wear clothes that have been manufactured, often creating toxins into the environment and on people on very low wages? So how do we manage that psychologically? Then from a chemistry perspective, there's actually really cool ways in which you can reduce the toxic effect of dyes through using new technologies. So we brought them all together, a couple of chemistry students visiting each site tutorial, being subject matter experts, interpreting these chemi chemistry concepts around um, sustainability, green chemistry issues for the psych students, and they in turn learnt from the psych students about psychological theory. And the feedback we had from all of them is that it went really well. The university is a bit like a city. Um, there's a lot of processes, um, a lot of them are centralised and you can't necessarily change things overnight that don't suit you. So a lot of our focus is on the things that we can do. The composting project is a really excellent example of that. Working directly with the ground staff, we've been able to have a compost bin to which we can empty our small bins from our staff rooms. We can all do that. So we're about encouraging those kinds of things. Purchasing, you can choose the more sustainable option. Recycling has been a big focus. Reducing the number of disposable items that you use. But we're also about the policies that we need to support that. So we're not just going to do the things that are immediately available, but, but also encourage the university to be braver and more adventurous and go further in, in our policies and in our centralised systems.